Coming up next, a member of the News Center family is back. You know, I thought she looked familiar. <laughs> you know, me too. But I'm not going to say who just yet. But you're going to be seeing a little bit more of her coming up. We'll take a break and be right back. So now to Sharon with a, uh, a special guest you may recognize. Yeah, the big reveal. We're welcoming back a familiar face to the News Center family, Diane Atwood, who was a hello, reporter hello. here for a number of years, uh, focusing exclusively on health issues for, for quite a while, Diane, right? That's right. I was a reporter here for decades, and I've been gone for a little more than a decade, so you can add that up and, <laughs> and figure it out. Do figure the math, it out. Because Two decades you never have know by looking, Diane. Well, we love you, Sharon. So, um, so what have you been doing? recently. You're going to give me the rest of the show? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> the Reader's Digest version. Okay, well, I, I left to work at Mercy to right. do their marketing and PR. Loved every moment of it. Decided after about nine years that uh, I wanted to pursue freelance writing. I had this vision of sitting in front of a sunny window with the bird feeders outside, and I decided if I didn't do it now that I would probably run out of time. <laughs> so I did that and uh, what happened is that I started a health and wellness blog just as a place to practice my writing and suddenly the reporter in me came back full steam ahead and so I've been working primarily on my health and wellness blog. It's called Catching Health with Diane Allen. Oh, I like it. Catchy title. That's Catchy right. Title. Thanks to my daughter. All right, so that brings us up to date a little bit and, and this month you're focusing on colon cancer awareness month a little bit? I I am. I am. I think that all of us in the health field are trying to do that. It's one of those cancers that you can actually prevent by having a colonoscopy. And I don't think people get that notion. If you have your colonoscopy, the first one supposedly at 50, unless you have some risk factors. And uh, yes, I did reach that age. And yes, I've done that. <laughs> Been uh, there, done that. And I have to say that I'm one of those poster children because when I had it, um, they found one of those polyps that could turn into oh. cancer. And when it was all done, my, I swear to God, my um, doctor was literally jumping up and down with joy. Diane, you're the reason why we do these yeah, things. Yeah. So at any rate, yes, we're all pushing to have people think about getting their colonoscopies. And one thing that's new that I just discovered um, is some people are afraid of having them because they're afraid they're not going to be able to afford them. Mm -hmm. But with the Affordable Care Act, um, it's mandated that all private health plans have to cover the screening test as a preventive service without any out-of-pocket costs to okay. patients, whether it's just getting one of those little home tests or getting a sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy. Another thing is that if you're on Medicare, and God love me, yes I am, um, the deductible will be waived for the screening. Okay. And one more thing, for people who don't have any insurance, the Maine Colorectal Cancer Control Program offers no cost screening services for people who qualify. I've got an 800 number that people can call. It is 1-877-320-6800. It's on the screen, you can see it. And if you go to my blog, Catching Health with Diane Atwood, um, I have a story that I've written for today with um, um, Chuck Kelly shared his personal story about okay. how his was caught early and he's here to tell his story. And, and happy about it. I'm, and happy, I'm sure. I'm happy, sure. happy about it. Yes. All right. So we, we can't necessarily take away the fear that you may have about getting a colonoscopy, although I'm sure you try in your blog, but we've taken away one excuse anyway, the, the financial aspect That's of it. That's right. right. And so. if I live through it, you can live through it. <laughs> she can do it, you can I do can it. be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. So you, you, so you survived anyway. Diane, yeah. thanks. And we'll be seeing you around here quite a bit more about yes. every other week or I'm so. I'm going to be here every other Tuesday morning, bright and early. Love it. And I'm so excited to be back. Hello, we're, everybody. And we're excited hello, to have you back. Very excited <laughs> to have you, you back. We've got a recap of this morning's top stories coming up.